In this question, we're told at a certain university, 60% of the students are male and 40% are female. It is known that 75% of the male students own a bicycle and 30% of the female students own a bicycle. One of the students is selected at random. So, we want to calculate the probability that a selected student is a male student who owns a bicycle and the probability that they own a bicycle. Now, this is one of those questions where you have to identify that this is actually a tree diagram question because we've got two events here, two possible things that can happen. It's picking a student which is uh, going to be male or female and it's picking a student that has either a bike or doesn't have a bike. So the first event here is whether they're male or female because the probability of owning a bike is dependent on whether they are male or female. So I'm just going to label that first set of branches sex. And it should be quite easy to label. So we're going to do probability of male. There's 60% of male, so that's 0.6. And probability of a female, which is an F. And there's 40% of them, so 0.4. The second set of branches is do they own a bike or not? So just drawing out those sets of branches. For a male, we've got the probability that they own a bike and that they're male is 0.75. Uh, let's just tie that up a bit. So that's equal to 0.75. But the probability that they don't own a bike, so we're going to do B dash and that they're male, in that case is 0.25. Do exactly the same for the females. So two possibilities that could happen. You could have probability that they have a bike given that they're female. And this is 0.3. And then probability that they don't have a bike given that they're female. That must be the remaining probability of 0.7. And then finally, just finish off by doing the M branch probability. So probability of male and a bike. 0.6 times 0.75 is 0.45. Probability of male and not owning a bike. So 0.6 times 0.25 gives me 0.15. Probability that they're female and own a bike. 0.4 times 0.3 is 0.12. And finally, probability that they're female and don't own a bike is 0.4 times 0.7, which is 0.28. So although it's not strictly necessary to draw a tree diagram, you're going to see by drawing the tree diagram, you actually answer quite a lot of this question and get marks without directly thinking about it. So we'll just explicitly give answers now. Probability that the Calculate the probability that the selected student is a male student who owns a bicycle, so that's probability of M male and inset with bike, which we've already calculated to be 0.45, which the examiner should find and give you the marks on your diagram anyway. Part two, probability that they own a bicycle, so there's two scenarios that could own a bicycle, it's either that they're male and own a bicycle or they're female and own a bicycle. So probability of owning a bicycle will be 0.45 plus 0.12, because they're mutually exclusive events, it can't be male and female at the same time, so we get an answer of 0.57. And then part B, part B is really the A-level part and material on this question, up until this point you're looking at really a GCSE high tier question. So it says here, given that the selected student owns a bicycle, calculate the probability that the student is female. So what we're saying is, probability that the student is female given that they own a bike. And it's at this point the conditional probability formula really helps because I can now write this using the formula and it will help me identify what probabilities are relevant to solving this. So probability of f given b is probability of f intercept b over the probability of b. And so this is given as probability of b is 0.57. And then probability of F intercept B is 0.12. And so if you work through this and simplify it, you'll get that you can cancel it down. So we get 4 over 19. OK, so let's have a look and see how the marks are awarded in this question. First of all, probability that they're male and over bike. Method mark and answer mark for this correct answer at the top. The method mark has, of course, come from the tree diagram. Probability that they own a bike. 
method mark and answer mark for the summation part. Part of that method, remember, is coming from you having used the tree, uh, the tree diagram, and the answer mark for that is not given for the 0 0.57. And then finally, the probability that they are female given that they're in a bike is a standalone mark for getting the 0 0.12 on the numerator, as a standalone mark for getting 0 0.57 as a denominator, and as a standalone mark if you've got 4 over 19 or an equivalent answer as a final answer. Okay, well, I hope the solution to answer it all made sense and that you was able to follow how to mark the question.